Since taking office, Taipei Mayor Ke Wenzhe has actively sought ways to trim the municipal budget. Today, he took aim at overtime pay and transportation subsidies, which amount to some 1.4 billion NT annually. From July 1st, the Taipei City government will cap monthly transportation subsidies at 1,260 NT per person. This move is expected to save City Hall about 50 million NT over the second half of the year. As for overtime pay, the city will move away from counting the number of hours worked, with a new emphasis placed on efficiency and performance. Some people apply for monthly transportation subsidies of 7,000 NT dollars. This makes no sense and should be canceled. A boss should only be concerned about how many things you manage and your performance, not about how long you sat there and how much overtime you are due. I won't deduct all of this money. I would like this 1.4 billion NT to be distributed to staff on a performance-related basis. Some city councilors worry that such a large cut in subsidies could actually cause City Hall to spend more money. If you cut transportation subsidies for those who take more than two forms of transportation, then those who live outside New Taipei City could apply for another dormitory subsidy. This could cost the same or more. While transportation subsidies were originally intended to help City Hall retain talent, Ke believes there are many competent civil servants residing in Taipei. Those who choose to live far away could look for other work.